welcome back to Let's Play Stacking. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the main menu simply because I feel like it. I uh, wanted to point out a thing I don't know if I showed off in the first episode, where, yes, this delightful menu uh, has the uh, icon jump into the, uh, the next selection. Jump from help and options to achievements. Just jump into the bigger dolls, or out of them, as the case might be. But if you go all the way to the side, and then you keep going, it'll loop around to the other side, like in most menus, except, uh... <laughs> it flies back out with... They're spitting all those dolls out as fast as they can. Or, you know, throwing themselves in as fast as they can. Oh, that reminds me. I should check the achievements, but I can't do that from in the game. The achievements I've earned in stacking are Strike Breaker, completed the Train Strike Adventure, Seasoned Swashbuckler, completed the Gilded Steamship Adventure, Doll Fancier, collected all unique dolls and the Gilded Steamship, Ship Solver, found all solutions to all of the Gilded Steamship challenges. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Thank you to Firefox for making that possible, since, uh, stacking doesn't want to play nice with the Steam interface. Future of child labor to be decided. I'm kind of glad I didn't see that, uh, headline before we jumped into the level. Ah, uh, yes, and everything is loud. Oh, I think those big furnaces are actually feeding the ballast. I mean, it looks like they're feeding hot air balloons inside of the Zeppelin balloon. I don't think you're even supposed to be able to go inside the Zeppelin balloon, given that it's full of hydrogen. But it kind of looks like that's where this party is taking place. Well, inside one of them, anyway. As we can see, there's... A zipline bridge leading to the other side?! I operate the quick zip travel line between the two blimps! You can't take it right now, though. The bloke on the other side fell asleep again. If you go over there, give him a little kick, will you? We need to, we need to get this thing running. Madness. Oh, yeah, I felt it important to read this one sooner rather than later. In case something happens, shout out to Justin Jones, who says, I don't know why, but there is something deeply unsettling about the feel of this game. Perhaps it's because I am a horror movie fan, and I keep expecting something horrific to happen. Well... More horrific than children being tricked into a forced labor scheme. Oh, boy. Oh, and, uh, Justin also said in another comment, Hopefully the Baron is not Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. Especially the version from the David Lynch movie, Heart Plugs and all. Oh. I had to look into that. I had to look that reference up. You know, David Lynch movie came out, uh, the David Lynch Dune came out one year before I was born, so, uh, if I've seen it, I was so young I don't remember anything about it. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have seen it, because I do remember Patrick Stewart in that movie. But, uh, the heart plugs are a thing they just made up for that version of the movie, where uh, all the Harkonnen servants and nobles, for some reason, just had plugs installed on the fronts of their chest, where, uh, if they failed you in some way, you pull the plug out and they die. There's blood spraying everywhere, leaking all their blood out of their bodies. How charming. Speaking of horrific things happening, hello! My photos of the summit will go down in history. It's not often I get to cover such an important event. The Baron graciously invited the press here today. Well, if you were invited by the Baron, I better waste all your film. Let's take a picture of these olives. Nice. Let's take a picture of the guys taking pictures of this star. Excellent. Annoying my co-workers, it's a bonus. Oh, a mime! That definitely needs prosperity recording. Oh! Why did only those two count? Say cheese, use flash photo on dolls. It's a hijink. Oh, I see. When they face me, they've got stars in their eyes because I've blinded them. Let's actually stand right here and... I guess we're immune, huh? Maybe the celebrity is also immune. You know, from exposure. What are these tables made of? Uh, cardboard clouds. What? 
was that an accordion? I thought I saw that earlier, but I was being silly at the time, and then got distracted by the hijink appearing. Uh, the more tea you drink, the lighter my load is. If I don't pour at least ten cups an hour, I'm punished. Oh dear. Play accordion. I don't... It's weird that it's an accordion, but I can barely hear it. Oh, my apologies, another jump cut. There, I have turned the brightness up a little. I noticed uh, issues in finding uh, thumbnails for this series, just because everything is so fucking dark. As opposed to Spider-Man, where the problem was that everything was blurry because of all the motion blur. I do hope you are finding the entertainment engaging. Yes, mistress. As a guest of the Baron, you are welcome to the buffet. Would you like some refreshments? Where are those children? What am I allowed up there? Hey kid, if I were you, I'd get back to work. If the boss even sees us talking, my wages could be garnished. Remember that you were forbidden from eliciting sympathy from the guests. What if I'm one of the ones who actually works for you? You know, it's the same lines. Fine, I'm just gonna go up here anyway. I wonder what those guys do. I kinda wanna find out. Get back here, kid. You're taking a break. Oh, they're too big. Oh darn, all of these people are too big. Maybe there's a metaphor in that. Fly to station. Must be in a launch station to fly. That's what this thing you were standing in, isn't it? With all the blue, the, uh, the fans. Fly to station. Fly balloon stewards to both waiter stations. Uh... Oh shit! There's a girl hanging upside down from the ceiling on a rope, but it's around her feet, and she just said, uh, I'll find a way out of here somehow. You can't keep a good black moor down. If my dad were here, he'd get all of us kids out of this mess. Charlie, is that you? No, not you, shithead. No! Oh, dear. I've fallen out. I need to find another one of those balloon guys. Or that guy could wander down, that would also be helpful. Is there a staircase on this side? There does... No, oh, does see one of these guys up here. So that's helpful. Yoink! Didn't even make the sound effect that time. I'm glad I said something. Oh, this is the other one. Of course it is. Uh, there's a bunch of kids in a cage there. Like a literal golden cage. Well, those aren't even kids, that's just more guests. Why is there a table in this cage? Will these balloons never be clean enough? It's a child cleaning the side of the balloon with uh, a toothbrush. All I want is to put my feet on the ground. I'm so dizzy. And back down. How the hell do I get uh, Abigail down? I can't fly somewhere that's already occupied. Great. I'll just wait here. I only grabbed that guy because he was the right size. I didn't think I was going to find my sister before the end of the level. Okay, up we go. Oh, no. I confuse myself. No, there's three of these. Excuse me. You snooze, you lose. There you are. Hope my little brother Charlie is okay. Charlie, is that you? And that's all she says when I directly talk to her, but she keeps talking to herself. She's also got work gloves on. You can't keep a Blackmore tied up for long. Unfortunately, she is also facing me while hanging upside down to the ceiling, so that's not the solution. She does have a toothbrush on her, though. How unfortunate. Oh, right. Jeez, that's why I grabbed this guy in the first place. You? No. Too big, too big. Ah, ah. 
Borrowing your friend here. Discerning gaze. I'm guessing this highlights unique people. I don't actually see any unique people right now. I thought I saw one over there, but it was just the gleam off of this guy's golden balloons. Now that I've flown to, quote, both of the uh, things. Who is a trick? There's like three of them. We only need to do two, and they're just messing with him. Okay, yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. The, uh, the opera singer is a uh, unique character. Ah, yes, and the farting pair are a... Oh, no. Fan service room, air exchange room, and that's the room that these two are stood right next to the entrance of. So let all these people go. Oop. Help! The ambassador is trapped! Oh, oh. The Baron's guards have trapped me behind this abominable stink cloud. There's literally a fan in the middle of the room on the wall, and uh, it's just blowing green-brown smoke into a big area in the middle with him on the far side by the window. We both got a bad kid. You serve him rich folks, so I keep him in the air. Ears open, the summit goes your way, kid. Oh dear, child, keep your chin up. If you work really hard and don't succumb to disease, you may have a job just like mine. It's a balloon guy. One who flies up into the uh, waiter station. What was that? Never let the guests see you frown, child. Ah, ah! This support pillar is actually just two pile, uh, uh, road pylons put on top of each other. Orange cones. Emergency room. Is that a space suit? Well, it's not a person. I can't talk to it. Maybe these guys will have some exposition about that. How's the food here? I enjoy the gamey bite of venison myself. Is all of the food here buffet style? I love the greasy flavor of duck fat. Venison is deer, for the record. You drink now. I could use a drink something. Oh, he's asking for a drink. He thinks I work here, right? The summit concerns children somehow? Can you tell me exactly what the summit is about? Are you here for the summit too? This woman seems confused. Oh, yeah, if I talk to the mime, it's just a did did did. Of course it is. What the fuck was I expecting? Oh. Oh! Engineer man. Alright, what am I even... Where is that? I walked into here. Oh, no, there's the ambassador behind me. What happens if I just try to walk up here? No, it's like... Oh. Charlie immediately passed out. You! I was able to pull you from the stink cloud just in time. Be more careful. He just pitched backwards and fell over. Everything went black. And then we lost focus and the picture rolled a bit. It was kind of funny. Because I do like all these touches. They do like an old-fashioned uh, old movie. Good God! Those are the biggest wrenches I've ever seen. I mean, you know, if I was the size of a real person, that thing would be like 10 feet tall. Okay, what if, what if... Oh, right. Okay, we take the potpourri, lady, and we try to create a path for this guy. Since, you know, I see the fan service room over here, but I, uh, only uh, Charlie can fit in that little tiny slot. Air exchange room. Please remove that stink cloud so the ambassador can attend to the summit. Oh, I went too close. Stay clear of that hazard zone. One whiff of that stink cloud will knock you out. Oh, it's actually a hazard zone painted on the floor. So I just stand right here and... Oh, it filled the room. Put a rainbow over it and everything. Here's the ambassador. He's got the key to the city with him. No doubt the summit is still underway. I shall make my case. Gentlemen, child labor is an endless hassle full of tattletales and crying. A blast of sweet air. Get rid of the gas.
Thankfully, the ambassador has been freed and is at the summit. There is still a dangerous stink cloud it is still in there. That's kind of redundant. I'm sure that the ambassador would want us to remove it altogether. Where's that guy with a wrench? Oh, no, wait, no, tiny door. It's only me. Maybe there's another guy with a wrench in here. Seriously, it's like a dog door. It's how small I am. Like, if I had to compare myself to the things in the environment, I'm saying about, I'd say I'm about one foot tall. Ooh, a wrench panel. And a wrenchman. There's little I can do here without a ladder. But there is a ladder just there on the floor. It's broken. Okay, should look closer. What is up there? I do not understand. Oh, there's a ledge up there. I was supposed to maintain the fans, but the panel is way up there! We had a ladder, but Giles dropped it. So we're waiting for a replacement. It's too bad I can't float. It's too bad I can't bring the balloon guys in here. Well, they need a launch platform anyway. Union regulations state that we must wait for a new ladder. I've been told that the children of the Baron's factory are crafting one. It should arrive by carrier pigeon sometime next week. Supposed to maintain the fans up there, but our ladder broke. Okay. Smallest guy, if only someone would carry me up to that ledge. I guess I'll just wait for the replacement ladder to arrive. It shouldn't take more than a week. Those kids are fast workers. That's all I can do here without a ladder. All right. I will try that panel over there. Oh, maybe that just opens the door and lets me get real dudes in here. I'm predicting that. Maintain! I'm not tall enough to maintain that. Well, fortunately, both of the other guys in here are also wrenchmen. They're just bigger. And now I'm all of them. With three times the uh, engineering power, I maintain. Victory. The Baron's guests are quite a handful. One more fish tank to install and I'm off to bed. Ew, these pylons aren't even clean inside. This one fell over. I mean, I don't know why they would be under normal circumstances. Is, is this just a giant roll of hazard tape? I think it is. Uh, oh, there's a balloon guy right here for some reason. What am I doing? He's clearly size two. All right, I'll try th using this as a launch station. It works! Oh, I'm a dope. If only someone could carry me up there. Yes, yes, yes. The, I need to bring go up there as this guy, but the size one guy needs to be... Oh, I did have that guy still. Duh, duh. Why in the world did I think I went and got one of those T-girls? So I didn't notice if there was a symbol on the balloons before I got gold. Oh no, I think that is just a reflection of the light. Weird. Oh, I'm suddenly up here. I'll just do this, yeah. And the gas turns off. Nice. Override up high. I have another thought. I don't think I'm going to like it very much. And it might just flat out fail. I grabbed you. And then I need to grab. Yeah, someone bigger. He's a size three. Yoink! Play bugle. Well, that's a bugle, alright. Wait, is this a hijink? No, but it does startle people. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it on some of these rich people. I'm not going to lie, I was kind of hoping the accordion woman would uh, jam out with me. Wait a minute! Oh, no, no, this is the same level. Duh. For some reason, I thought I was on the other side of the room. No, there is no platform on the other side of the room, so these are the same launch platforms. I love these non-verbal noises they're all making. Like something out of Fable or The Sims. Okay, what if this guy is immune and I can just go over there and push that big red button I noticed once the cloud was gone? Hey, I don't suppose that cloud smells anything like this. 
he didn't even move. That dude's brave. I suppose that is much darker. Let me see here. Yeah, the shades are different. <laughs> <laughs> nope, down he goes. Even Merryweather is not immune. Yeah, be more careful. What do the mimes do? Well, I mean the pantomime, yes, but uh. Maybe if I do that, the, the, the imaginary wind will blow it away? No, no, not the box. Amazingly, the imaginary wind is having no effect on the actual cloud. Hmm. None could have predicted this. I wonder if the mimes can talk to other mimes. That would be pretty funny. Even amongst the Brotherhood, they will not break their vows of silence. Oh, my timer. Oh, I've just realized that the food here in the buffet is appropriately sized, so this tray full of melons is actually a tray full of, uh, blueberries. And over there, that appears to be a plate full of corn kernels with a single cherry impaled on top. Eating a corn kernel in the manner of a slice of cheese, man. The fuck is this? Oh, you can see the main engines, I guess. Cool. I don't think I can even go in there. Cover the engineering marvel, my dude. There we go. All right. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Stacking, when we uh, keep looking around and trying to find ways to help people with their issues. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!